So it's already September, can you believe it, which means October is just days away. You know what that means. It's also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And so we got to get in our mindset to start thinking about Paint El Paseo Pink, one of the biggest events in our desert. I'm joined now by Allison Sachs with Paint El Paseo Pink to talk about the event this year. So exciting because we can get back and do it in person on El Paseo. Absolutely. And, and thank you so much for yeah. having me. You know, I wear these coming. lots of different hats. I, I sit on the board of the uh, Desert Cancer Foundation. Mm -hmm. This is a big event. This is getting out for the community. And we're so so, so excited that it's in person this year. It's a terrific, terrific walk. So we invite everyone to come and join us. Yes, that's what we're talking about today is getting you out there and joining Allison and I <laughs> on October 9th. So right now you're accepting registration, correct? That's correct. You can go online, paintelpaseopink.org. There's a phone number. I think you're going to be flashing all of that for us <laughs> shortly. Yeah. And go online. You can create your own team. You can walk alone. It's, it's a family day. Everyone Everyone comes out. El Paseo is closed to traffic, so everyone can walk and feel safe mm -hmm. and enjoy the evening, enjoy the event, and support the Desert Cancer Foundation. You know, Eisenhower Medical Center, Eisenhower Health, we are the premier sponsors of this event, and there's a reason for that. Mm -hmm. This is a real community nonprofit supporting those who need help paying for their insurance, their co-pays, their premiums, or their outright cancer care. We like to say what's What's uh, Desert Cancer Foundation about? about? We're about making sure everyone gets the cancer care they need. Isn't that extraordinary? Yeah, it's so important, especially yes. in this time. You know, a lot of people did delay some of those annual That's screenings. Correct. And so this is the time of year we need to go back and kind of get back in that mindset that, that yes. we were in pre-pandemic, right? That you need to take care of yourself, take That's care of correct. your body. Um, so kind of walk people through what Paint El Paseo Pink feels like if they've never been. Because we want to get new people out, not, right. you know, just the people right. who've done it before. But what is it like? Look at me smiling yeah. because it is. It's this <laughs> this happy, up, important, fabulous day. Um, everyone come out. Again, it's a family event. People bring their dogs. Although I have a little bitty dog. I'm not sure I would bring her. There's a lot of people <laughs> there out there. People. But you're certainly welcome to do that. And the point is the registration fee at $35 to walk. Mm -hmm. That goes towards Desert Cancer Foundation and covering those that need help. Again, for Eisenhower Medical Center, for other hospitals and, and providers of cancer care, we know the three words no one ever wants to hear their doctor say, mm -hmm. you have cancer. Mm -hmm. The one thing we know that we can step up and do in working with the Desert Cancer Foundation and all of Eisenhower's physicians, all of our team works with them. And again, as the other hospitals as well do, the one thing we can say is we want you to take a deep breath you don't have to worry your cancer care will be covered we're going to help you let's reach out I brought a quick statistic can I cheat absolutely. for a minute and share absolutely. it with you thank you so much <laughs> and really. so year to date the Desert Cancer Foundation has paid just year to date over mm -hmm. hundred and eighty thousand dollars in cancer services Wow. Every dollar raised stays here in our valley mm -hmm. supports local residents and every one dollar that we raise translates to over $10 in cancer care. No one needs to forgo their cancer treatment. Mm -hmm. And thank you for bringing up prevention. Yes. Because you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. People had kind of delayed or put off those mammograms, uh, screening for prostate cancer, all the things we know we need to do yep. to be healthy. Mm -hmm. And at Eisenhower, we're all about prevention. We're not just about cancer treatment. Yeah. We like to see that prevention. So we're here to remind you about a lot this morning. Yes, we covered we a lot of ground. So I'm so excited for Paint El Paseo Pink. It is back. And masks, too, is that staying safe a big part of this? Absolutely. Okay. And again, I'm glad that you asked. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it is an outdoor event. Mm -hmm. So, you know, whether or not the state mandates what we're doing to be healthy mm -hmm. and to protect each other and to protect ourselves. Certainly there's nothing wrong with putting on a mask. There'll be a lot of people there, but as I said, El Paseo will be completely yeah. closed. So think mm -hmm. about that wide street, yes. both going E each way yeah. and the sidewalks Absolutely. there's certainly more than enough room to be safe and if you're like me you're thinking this is just another opportunity to bring the pink right so now i'm thinking okay pink mask gotta decorate it all that because that's what it's all about right absolutely yeah. absolutely uh